Here's second and ten. One play action. Fields. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Jair Alexander. And these guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. A one-touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Now Dobbins again on second down, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Second and four. Dobbins running out of the gun. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Going deep for Hopkins. And this one is incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. To throw once more on second and 10. Jackson. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force another incompletion. Here's Jackson to throw. Got a man. It's Darren Waller. And they move this all the way down to the nine. On third and ten, they go flying past the marker and get nearly 40 yards. He had one touchdown earlier, nearly a second one there. Yeah, it took a touchdown-saving tackle to keep him out of the end zone after a big play. Perhaps you go right back to him. Don't need the distance, but maybe he can pay things off after a big effort. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. 
They're mounting a nice drive here. Good chunk of yardage there again. O-line, they've been solid this drive. They have that look about them right now that says, if you do anything but run the ball behind us, you're crazy. They have really moved it well on this drive, and they want to finish it off the same way. The carry here for the big tight end. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. T.J. Hawkinson taking it in from four yards out. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point from McManus is good. And that will tie our game here in the third. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. And that's caught inside the 35. And they're able to get this way down there inside the Tampa 20. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They went with the run-pass option, and I don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready. So many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options, but when they read their keys and play it correctly, sometimes the result goes in their favor. On second and 11 now, Fields. His throw caught at about the five. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. It'll be first and goal when we come back. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Off play action, Fields. And a diving effort, but only right at the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the completion. It'll be second down. Sanders, and he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Miles Sanders, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Steelers have taken the lead. So, Charles, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout. And that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? From the six. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Now it's Jackson. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 25 yards there on the catch and run. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now the 
pass and it's into the arms of Hopkins. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. 50 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after them, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. A looming decision to make on the conversion, down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Jackson. Eluding the pressure right toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And once he got out of the pocket, you thought that maybe he'd take off with it, especially here in the two-minute drill. Sometimes defenses are focused so much downfield that there's room to run, but this time he decided to throw it unsuccessfully. On second down, Dobbins. Oh, no, he lost the football, and it's picked up by the Steelers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And they were hoping to get down there, get the score, and get this thing into overtime. How deflating. Absolutely. I mean, let's face it, heartbreaking. They had an opportunity, had a chance, and probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on, and that was taken away from them by their own mistake. Yeah, the opportunity squashed. They start on the ground here at Sanders. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They run with Sanders off the option. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Third and short, they'll try option left. Got some room at the 30. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Now it looks like he'll throw here. That swung out wide to Sanders. Powering his way forward. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. An option handoff given to Sanders. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Back to throw, Fields. A bullet throw, but incomplete. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh.